Hello, everyone, and welcome to your Daily Stock Report, brought to you by QualityStocks.net, where performance is tracked daily. I'm your host, Kathy Rankin, and it is great to be back with you on this Thursday, May 22nd, to bring you the latest news from around the markets. Today's headline news are brought to you by Metafile International Incorporated. Metafile International is focused on developing technologies and services that assist clients with the collection, management, and distribution of key health data, including medical records and images. The company's proprietary system gathers and digitalizes medical records so that anyone can have comprehensive records of all their medical visits. Now, let's jump right into the headline news from Wednesday. Well, yet again on a day as oil prices leap to unheard of highs, senators lined up Big Oil's biggest executives and pummeled them with complaints that they're pretending to be hapless victims while raking in record profits. We'll check that out and see what happens. And now for a look at the market news, Quality Stocks is tracking for you. Market headlines are brought to you by Rudy Nutrition. Rudy Nutrition creates, distributes, and licenses Rudy branded products that are designed to appeal to parents, kids, athletes, and active people who are seeking alternative healthy choices. The management of the company is committed to incorporating policies that ensure a return on investment to their shareholders. The QualityStocks.net daily newsletter would like to highlight Data Call Technologies Incorporated, as are one to watch, and they're up 2% with 29,000 shares traded. Data Call reported net revenues rose 778%, wow, from $8,040 in quarter one of 2007 versus $70,627 for the first quarter of 2008. Now, the company attributed the increase in revenues to the growth from several accounts in addition to a successful exhibition at this year's Digital Signage Expo. The company announced its projected revenue for quarter two of 2008 is $78,200, which represents an 11% increase over first quarter of this year. Kentucky USA Energy Incorporated is up 18% with over 2 million shares traded. Kentucky USA Energy announced today that the company has staked out five locations for initial wells in the New Albany Shale on its 2,200-acre leasehold located in the western Kentucky region. Recent data analysis has identified several drilling prospects and the company plans to drill these initial wells to a total depth of 3,000 feet or to a depth sufficient to adequately test the base of the new Albany Shale formation. Zap is up 18% with over 2 million shares traded. Zap has a big week ahead of them after announcing that Golf Carts of Lincoln, formerly a golf cart dealership, has now transformed itself into an electric car dealership. The dealership is located in Rockland, California and will be called Electric Car Living. And guess what? That is it for our newsmakers today. Stay tuned right here to the Quality Stocks Daily Newsletter for the latest news from small cap to large cap and everything in between brought to you by QualityStocks.net where performance is tracked daily for you. And please be sure to see our disclaimer on the QualityStocks.net website. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kathy Rankin. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you again tomorrow right here on the Quality Stocks Daily Report.